seeing as we, we've got a new head and we've got second hand valves and um, we're just going to um, lap the valves to suit the new cylinder head so I've already done, I've already done the intake side um, so I'll, I'll just show you what I do um, on the exhaust side we've got an exhaust valve here and I'll just give you a small demo on what I do to lap in um, an exhaust valve same procedure with the intake um, start off I just have a I just have a welch plug there with oil so I just I just dunk the stem in oil you don't need a lot of oil and then I'll just run this up and down in here just so it's always best to have a bit of oil everything's already been cleaned up um, now I like water based paste better than oil many years ago 54 years ago actually I would have been doing this on an Austin A40 or an Austin A50 motor when I first started playing around with cars so 54 years ago is a long time right then so we've got our water based paste on there we've got a bit of oil on the stem and we just go like that just to touch it to start to spread it around a bit and we just go like this you'll notice the change uh, the sound will change after a while when the paste gets worn out Now, can you hear the sound changing? You'll listen, you'll hear the sound change. Starting to lose it. Well, then, now we have a bit of a look at what we've got. Got to watch out, you don't, you don't touch the side which I may have done then when I pull it out. It's best to pull it out real, real slowly so we don't get any paste on the stem. We certainly don't want that. So I have all these small pieces of rag here and just wet them in a bit of water because it's water-based paste. And if, if you wipe them off dry, they look clean but they won't be clean. Then if you wipe them off wet, um, everything turns out a lot cleaner. So we just use that one piece of rag once we don't use it again and then they look like they're going to turn out really good you have a look on here to see there's no pit marks or no no, no tracks right through and if we have a look over here at the at the seat itself we can see it's the same color all the way around it's touching all the way around I'll just get a little light there most times I like to give them two shots so here we go again we'll just give it a bit more if I can get some to come out just go around just touch a bit on there you don't need a, a hell of a lot if you can see here that's all you need is about that much if you want if you're fussy you can go and level that out so it's evenly spread like that I'll wipe that off in the jeans and just do the same thing again Put a little bit more oil on the stem. Be careful we don't touch the edges and there we go again. You'll hear when it first starts it sounds real gritty and as the paste wears out it becomes uh, quieter, more high pitched. sound a bit different now so I pull it out very carefully I just touch the side again so I won't risk whether I've got any paste on there or not another piece of rag um, I'll just give you a bit of a demo on this just so we wipe that off dry and then we come over here and wipe this one off dry Now that looks pretty clean, and you'd, you'd think, oh yeah, the job's done. But if you look, I'll put a bit of water on that piece of rag. And we'll see it's a clean bit of rag. There's still paste, there's still grit on the, on the seat. 
So it's always best to wipe it off with water. Even if it's just a bit of water, it'll definitely come out cleaner. We don't want any grit getting down inside the motor. You know, a piece of rag, that's why we always have 20 pieces of rag pre cut. And that's what we do wipe that out, wipe that out. And a bit more oil on there, and that is um, pretty well ready to assemble. Uh, with the older cars, if they had burnt valves, a lot of times they'd have a track burnt through. They just have an area that was just burnt through, and if they were badly burnt, you have to throw the valve away, or you might have to get it faced off in a machine. Then uh, there's a limit to how far you can go. But uh, if we're talking about performance cars, thicker, thicker exhaust valves flow better, thinner intake valves flow better. Um, and the theory is, if you have a multi-angle valve seat, so we have one at that angle, the one that seats, and the other one just a little bit knocked off the edge. So a three-angle valve job will produce more horsepower, and the same in here. If you have a three-angle valve job here, first seat's cut back, second seat's where it seals, and the third seat is aimed in. So the moment the valve cracks off the seat, um, it can just flow better, can flow a lot more air and um, more horsepower. Um, that's a bit more on the theory of how valves work. So we'll just keep going. We'll lap the other, lap the other valves in. Once they're in, then um, we're pretty right. We'll put the valve stem seals on. They just, on this motor, I think they'll just tap on with a little socket. Valve springs on, retainers on, collets in, camshaft in, and um, you know, the motor's getting, the head's getting pretty ready to be put back on the top of the engine then.